morning or afternoon YouTube. Um, I'm starting another video. I probably should have started it earlier. I was running some errands and I was like, you know, this stuff's kind of boring. But sometimes those videos do pretty good. Anyways, I'm still running errands. I'm in front of Walmart, uh, waiting on a pickup, some plastic clear storage bins to do some more organizing in the storage unit and the upstairs room all over. A lot of car parts, lots of stuff that I need to organize. Tools, materials, stuff like that. Dropped Liz off at the airport at about 3.30 this, no, 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 about 4.30 this morning. Got back right about six, went to the tire shop, then realized they didn't open until eight. So took a little bit of a nap. Now I'm moving again, and I have to go from here to the post office. Got some stuff going back to South Carolina, and then I think I'm gonna grab some coffee at Simple, because that's the best coffee shop. I parked it down below today because I didn't have any big packages. I only had a package to drop off and a couple of little things, which made life easier today. Chaka was the best dog. She didn't come out of the gate. Wiggles did and Luna did, but Chaka stayed in. She was a good girl. Now the big dogs can get jealous. That's right, Chaka was the good girl. Thunder, you look like you're getting bored and you're about to get mischievous. Please be on your best horse behavior. Slight change in plans today. Y'all, I just waved to someone I knew. I think I might have a staph infection, which sucks. Um, insect bite, running around the jungle, getting bacteria and stuff in it. So I'm here to the doctor to have him check it out just to make sure that I'm all good. Okay, I'm out of the doctor and I'm on my way to the post office. He gave me, it looked like about three different prescriptions, um, loaded me up on antibiotics. He said I need to start them ASAP. He did not send me out for a lab um, and a swab test. They basically just took a look at it and said, yeah, it's an infection of some sort. Gave me some strong, broad spectrum antibiotics. And luckily, Real Babes actually met me at the doctor's office, picked up the prescriptions, and she is taking them to the local pharmacy. And they might fill them as she waits, or I might be picking them up on my way back home. Now, I wanted to touch base on my little doctor visit real quick. Um, Real Babes nor myself have Puerto Rican medical insurance. We have Blue Cross Blue Shield and that doesn't cover anything here in Puerto Rico. So we pay cash. And that visit, like almost all my other visits, cost $25. Um, and that's better than what I pay stateside. Stateside with insurance, my copay is $40. So I basically saved 15 bucks by going to the doctor here. And it's a small town, doctor, general, physician, and he's great. Um, it's usually pretty hassle-free. Um, much, much, much less of a hassle to go to the doctor here in Puerto Rico than it is back in South Carolina. Since y'all come to the post office with me so frequently, I might rename this channel Swamp Fox Postal Adventures. Okay, I've got my box of goodies, which is basically uh, oil and water separators for the compressors and the air tanks. And I'm going to meet Real Babes at Palermo at seven for dinner tonight. And I'm hungry now, and since I'm at the post office, I'm gonna go to the little food truck rodeo. I'm gonna hit up Red's Potato and get myself a Tres Pueblos. Okay, I am on Highway 2, headed home. Um, I've got to stop at the pharmacy and pick up that prescription. And then once I get home, I will show you all my Trace Pueblos. And for those of you all that watch the channel, um, you've seen them before because it's, it's one of my favorite lunch, dinners, whatever. They're huge too. So I'll buy one 
and it will quite literally last me like two or three days. I'll eat on a little bit of it, put it in the fridge, pull it out the next day, sometimes for a late night snack. I love them, they're awesome. Back on Ruta 681 and headed towards the pharmacy. Yesterday was probably the best snork, not probably, it was hands down, the best snorkeling conditions we have seen in the last two, if not three months. And Real Babes and I were both completely and totally absorbed with work. So I think we're gonna try to go snorkeling tomorrow. Conditions today weren't as good as they were yesterday but it's still doable, especially if they hold the same as they are today. So I'd really like to get some snorkeling in before Real Babes goes back stateside. Okay, I've got my prescription. I went to the post office, I'm heading home. And I am getting really excited about eating my Tres Pueblos and I'm totally going to break that down for you all so you can see why I get so excited about it. There's a young male. Iggy. Oh, there it goes. It's breeding season. All the females have eggs. The males are all over. And we haven't started seeding babies yet, but we should see them in the next two to four weeks, I guess. Hi, doggy dogs. How are you? Hey, Luna, stay. Good, stay. Hey, 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 get back in there. The Montero has not been running hot. It's been running good, but I opened the hood to remind me to go ahead and check fluids just in case there's a little bit of a leak somewhere. Um, I did add some coming back from Ponce but we were running hard, hot, and it was mostly water. So I can see that actually evaporating rather than leaking out. And we haven't seen any leaks. Guess who gets absolutely none of my Trace Pueblos? Especially you, Chaco, you can smell okay, it. Okay, I am gonna show you the Trace Pueblo. Trace Pueblo means three towns. And buried under all this goodness, which is cheese sauce, cheese, potato straws, bacon, broccoli, chopped ham, shredded chicken. There's shredded beef or ground beef. There's some right there. Right there, there's some amarillo, which is like um, sweet plantains, sweet bananas. Um, there's sometimes a little guava on here. It is, and the Tres Pueblo is a batata, which is a white sweet potato with flesh, the same as like a russet. It's not orange and fibrous. And on the other side is a regular potato. I usually do dos batata, um, two of the sweet potatoes because they're my favorite. But this time I just went regular style. I'm really excited. I need to eat to eat my antibiotic. That's what the pharmacist said. So I'm gonna grub get this uploaded and see how far along on today's video we are. I'll see y'all after I eat. Oh, that is so good looking. I absolutely crushed that. I usually eat about half of what I ate. So that's going in the fridge for leftovers and I did take my antibiotics. It is time for me to get back to work. Wiggles, what are you barking at? What are you barking at? Chaco, I think you're barking just because Wiggles is barking. Why don't you come up here? Heel, Chaco! Jeez, just invite yourself up. Hi, jealous Luna. Chaco, you're you're crawling all over me for attention. You're pressed. There you go. So you're you're pressed up against me. I don't think you can possibly get any more closer as far as physical contact. It's down a little, not a whole lot, but a little. There's the new water oil separator. I got two of them, and I'm probably just going to put them in line. I'm not sure where I'm going to mount them. So I just got it sort of tethered together with uh, zip ties and the two hoses. And I talked to Kevin at KN Automotive um, and he has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to Monteros. Since I've got a little bit of a leak here, well we think, we're not seeing it leak, 
um, he said, well, you can bring it in. We can pressurize the coolant system. So I'm going to bring it in. They're going to pressurize it and then discover if there's any leaks. If not, then we know it's just the water evaporating. So I'm going to do that sometime next week. Thunder's out grazing. The dogs are eating who knows what. And Wiggles is being a pretty good boy right now. I don't know where Ch there's Chaco. Hi, Chaco, Chaco. Luna, do you like Thunder's beet pulp water? I think she just saw me pour it and was like, oh, that's for me. <laughs> yeah. She definitely has that princess kind of mentality. She's like, oh. Hi, Luna. I know you're happy. Hi. Hi. All the puppies. Are all you still puppies. hungry for Palermo? I am. There's the beet pulp starting to expand. Chaco, you're not going to go check out your buddy Thunder tonight? Real babe says you're sneaky. Real babe's accidentally let little buddy in the yard. Wiggles, you stay. Little buddy tried to come in. I saw that. I was like, oh no. Better are catch you, Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> are you excited about Palermo? Uh-huh. I'm super excited. Sorry. And we are back on Kaya La Villa, looking for yet another snake, which we won't see, even though everyone else sees snakes on Kaya La Villa. Okay, real babes, what are we eating? Um, gnocchi, uh, ribeye, asparagus. This is like a mushroom gnocchi. Or gnocchi. It is a mushroom. It's like yeah. a mushroom cream gnocchi. It is. And it's so good, so good. <laughs> Coming over the Arecibo Bridge, back into Islote. Hi, doggy dogs. Hi. Hi, Choco, Choco, Choco. Uh-oh. Ooh, excitement with the doggies. I got one more for little buddy. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this video up. It's been nothing but errands and stuff the past couple days. I think we, uh, conditions look good tonight. Don't know if they're gonna be there in the morning. I think we're gonna do some snorkeling in the morning, which I'm really excited about because it's been a while. And then the weekend's gonna hit and I don't know what we're doing for the weekend. Hope y'all have big weekend plans. Love y'all and we will see you tomorrow, hopefully in the water snorkeling. <laughs>